Hey everyone, this is Krista Mahon, an independent designer with Chalk Couture. I am going to actually use this nice little wooden box uh, for a bathroom box. Okay, so we're going to be using the C size transfer freshen up, and it's really going to be cute. So it has lots of different features on it, and you're going to chalk them on the side of it. It could be used for a storage, for toilet paper, um, maybe Kleenexes, whatnot. So, Hello Sweet Cheeks is going to go on one. Then we're going to go on the other side. Hand towels free. And then we may only be able to put fresh soap, but we'll see what's going to fit. And then we have one extra side. Um, obviously, freshen up doesn't fit. So, we are going to do get naked. Just kidding. This is a half bath. Okay? So, this is an A size transfer. Okay? So, first of all, this is a found surface, and I highly recommend waxing. Um, so it doesn't pull off the whitewash and it does not ruin our transfers. So we will open up our surface wax and get some on a little cloth. And you're just going to apply it on the surface just to be safe. We don't want to ruin our transfers or the white paint. Once we have it on there, then we'll take a different side of the cloth and we will buff it, okay? So that's all that. And then we'll take a fresh piece of the cloth and kind of just smooth it in a little bit. Okay. I love our surface wax. It's very nice. Okay, so we're going to get our fuzzing towel out and we're going to fuzz the transfers. They all mark on the front and back. That means that we're going to match it back up when we're finished because these are reusable. So all of them are marked what they are and then the front and back. Same thing with this one. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. I have used this one a few different times. The teal part is stained because I use it on ink and the ink can stain the transfer teal part. We might lose a little bit of the H, but what I think I'll do is I'll just cut it off and not do the little whip de do so this actually will fit, okay? So I'll just won't chalk that, and I think we'll be all right. So the whole goal is here is to get this down without any bubbles. And I think I'm going to use a Storm Gray. I think it will show up even though it's a darker. So our wax or our paste should be like yogurt. So you want to make sure that it's a yogurt consistency. I am using our stir stick, which is just a plastic little stirrer. It is reusable. They come in a pack of 24. I love them. They're very nice. And that goes in our bath of water. I am using a small squeegee. So we have a small and we have a mini. Okay, so I'm using a small since we're doing all one color. I'm going to make sure I don't hit this H right there because we're going to cut the other H a little bit short. And we'll probably just stop it right there and make sure we don't hit anything more. Okay. So sometimes it looks like it might not fit all the way, but we can definitely make it fit. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do on the soap one, but we'll see. Just easing up the pressure to get the lines out. We're going to use that again. So, it's very cute. Look at that. Love it. So, we're going to wash the transfer in the bath of water. And then we dry sticky side up. So... When it's done drying, we'll put it right back on the backer and ready to reuse. I have used that one probably several times. I'd say probably 10. Um, Advertised is 10 to 12 or 8 to 12. So it's still sticky, so that's great. All right, so let me wash my, dry my hands off. So we will be able to turn this, and when we get to that side, we're going to have to be careful or dry. Okay, so hand towels for free. Go ahead and fuzz this. Okay. 
And the reason why we fuzz is to pick up a little bit of lint so it doesn't stick so well that it won't come off. Okay. Make sure I don't put my hand in that. Oh, the hand towels might not fit. I'm gonna lose a little bit of the tea. Could put it on an angle and lose that. Still gonna lose a little bit. Hmm. Just do that. I think that's still gonna look good. I'm gonna chalk the little pieces there, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm just gonna chalk to the edge of the S, and we'll just make sure we don't get the little design here. Since one would be cut off. And we'll just go to the edge of the T. see it s and t are cut off a tad bit but i feel like that's okay and i kind of like it on an angle okay i'm just going to clean this one dry sticky side up i use paper towels um you can dry on towels you can dry on regular uh surfaces um plastic if you have a plastic table so I did hit that with my finger there, so I'm gonna know what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to take my multi-tool and kind of touch it up. If I wanted to put my transfer back down, I definitely could. I think I can fix it though a little bit with my multi-tool. I may have to put it back down. I always seem to get my fingers and things. I feel like it's fit to dry a little bit. I feel like it will I'm probably gonna have to put it back down. So let's dry that one real quick. So we'll just use the blow dryer. <clears throat> side now so I'm just gonna put this one back down and hit the H real quick I'm gonna use a little mini squeegee this time just because I'm hitting the H only I do the whole letter again just so it doesn't look different where we touched it up there we go very good so we'll just wash this one and just wash the H off a little bit. Alright, I'm going to dry before I put the finger in anything else. sometimes is if it I'm a little worried that if it's gonna scratch or something until it's fully set up I'll put my towel down and then it's okay so this one we're gonna say get naked so we're gonna peel this off and it is marked on the back and front and the transfer packaging so we'll peel this off grab another fuzzing towel and we'll just fuzz this one a really funny transfer and this is an a size i picked the side that has more white on it for this since it has a lot of words and letters so that looks good. okay 
Okay, so we're gonna do a storm gray on this one as well. Just get it around the hole, transfer, make sure everything's covered. And then we get the lines out by easing up the pressure. There you go. Clean this one off. Get off the water. I'm a little stuffed up, guys, because my sinuses are acting crazy. I don't know if it's the weather change or what. We went from zero degrees to like 40 today, so it's just been a little bit jacked up. Okay, I'm gonna dry that. fresh soap and water. I think we're going to lose the five cents, but that's okay. I think it's still going to work. So let's get our fuzzy cloth out. It's really close to the camera now. Sorry. Back in front is Marth. And we did wax, so hopefully it wouldn't ruin the transfers. So, okay, let's get our box lined up here. I'll probably do this one on an angle as well. I probably would just not chalk the little bottom here, okay? So I'll just do water and I'll stop it at that, the R over there and not do this part. That's the cool part about chalk couture. You don't have to use all the pieces and parts and you can kind of stop and kind of go where you want to with it. Be more careful when I get to the R. Just gonna kind of stop it at the edge here. Oh, it's cute. It turned out really good, guys. The paste does dry a little bit darker, so I feel like that's going to uh, stand out a little bit. So let's just dry it and see what happens. Don't forget sticky side up to dry, okay? Once they're dry, you put them back on the backer and they're ready to be used again, okay? Let's make room for this guy. A lot of transfers back here, so I gotta make sweet cheeks hand towels free get naked was a different transfer size a and then fresh soap and water okay and then this nice little found surface i love it it looks great if you would like to subscribe to my channel you can uh, do that below also if you'd like to visit the chalk site where all these transfers and paste can be found along with the squeegee you can at um the link below um, so, and then if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's at like chalk, like a boss and that's Krista's chalking crew. Thank you all for joining me. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.